Alright, Space A Sims, and we are back with more Ayakashi Kogi Kyoku, and we are still in Case Guy's route, and we are starting back up in the beginning of chapter 7. So, we were on the set of the video shoot, and we're still on the video shoot. So, anyway, today's the second day of the PV shooting. It was for another song that's on the same album. From the sunset, we'll continue yesterday's shooting. I probably made everybody worry. When we went back to the cottage today, Akito yelled at me. Then I was told by everyone that they were worried about us. Apparently, everyone worked together and found our location. But they were angry that I was looking for him alone. I have to work harder today to make up for yesterday. In that moment, there was someone coming towards me. When I squinted my eyes and looked, there was the director walking towards me. Director? Is there anything he wants me to do? The director stopped in front of me. He was staring at me. After a while, he smiled satisfyingly. Oh, ah, she's good. I wanted someone like her. Huh? While I'm stunned, the director walked around me, looking me up and down. Yes, good. Uh, you would only be shown from the behind. Uh, can we use you for the PV? You just need to stay around each member, uh, kind of creating a memorable scene. Huh? Me? I've never done acting before. It's impossible. Hey, it's okay. You'll have hair and makeup done, and you're only going to be shown from the back. Well, the director is convincing me my hair has been done by the stylist. So he's convincing you instantly, like, pushing stylist comes up, and you're like, I didn't consent to this. Even from the back, there might be a chance that, uh, that a side of my face would be shown. I also had some makeup done. I was looking at myself with the hand mirror. I murmured, I look like a different person. Professionals are amazing. Yeah, you look cute. You're always cute, but you look more mature. Uh, Keisuke... When I looked toward the voice, there was Keisuke. He heard me talking to myself. My face was blushing and I looked down. See, like, this is one of those readable chapters, but it's awkward as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, there's some that you read and you're like, okay, it's a little it's a little awkward, but it's okay. It's very simple. Like, but this is like, everything's coming out slightly awkward, but it's not unreadable. It's like three, ex there's like extremes in this. It's like, it's barely legible. You're like, I can't even comprehend what you're trying to fucking say sometimes. It is like terrible. Or it's I mean, it's not the best translation and it's a little awkward and weird, but you can read it. It just sounds weird. And then there's, okay, this this sounds way better. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway. When did he get, when did he come here? If I knew he was behind me, I wouldn't have said that. Please forget about it. Please forget about it. And that's difficult to do. If you keep being cute and shy, I want to tease you more. What? What are you talking about? Please forget about this. I was getting embarrassed. I, I was getting embarrassed and left the place. Shooting began with walking along the beach with Akito holding hands. There won't be any recording, so we're able to talk freely. I was way too nervous that I couldn't think of anything to say to him. I don't know what to talk about in a situation like this. My expression was getting too stiff, so I'm glad that it's only my back is showing. Think about something that's relaxing for you. Isn't there anything? Hmm. Oh, I know. I started humming the song of the PV. It is a sweet melody line that I like. As soon as I hummed, Akito was surprised. I felt a lot better when I saw, saw his expression. Hey, Akito, I became Foxier's fan without noticing. So I remember the songs easily. I see. When I said that, Akito suddenly turned away. His ears are getting slightly red. I mean, his ears are always red. <laughs> How can you tell, like, his human ears? Because his hair is everywhere, but... That's good. It looks like a newly dating couple. I forgot we were filming until the director made a comment. Whoops. I became completely relaxed with Akito. After the shooting with Akito was Kasumi. Okay, with Kasumi, could you make a sandcastle over there? Uh, good, around there. To prevent my face from appearing on the camera, I had to make it next to me and sit down. Do you feel less nervous now? Yes, I guess Akito told you. But you know, I hope I'm not intruding on the PV. Like before, I was so glad that there won't be any voice recorded. Uh, don't worry, you're attractive. What? What happened? You're turning red. 
I didn't know you would say something like that easily. Really? I just say stuff I think honestly. Even with the twins, their personalities are quite different. Maybe the atmosphere is totally different, so that they must be non-identical twins. I mean, obviously, but... They're both very good-looking, but their faces aren't similar at all. When he gazes straight at me, it makes me feel embarrassed. Shush, computer. Shush. Hold on. No, it's still recording. Okay, I have no idea what's going... What is this? Nope, that's my game capture. That's fine. I don't know what the hell that was. That's really weird. Anyway... Uh, wait, if you hit it that hard, it'll crumble. Oh no! Thoughtlessly, I put too much strength and the sand tower collapsed. And that's it. I got a good shot. Now let's move on. After Kasumi is with Keisuke. I really thought we'd do Keisuke at the end because, you know, why does my... F what? Stop! I get it. Shut up. God fucking computer. Like, I'm trying to record, it's like, bling! All these fucking updates are popping up. It's irritating. God. Anyway. I didn't think we were going to use you in some scenes. Well, please don't be hard on me. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You're funny. When Keisuke laughed, it made me sh sh Oh, Shire. I was like, what? Yeah, okay. After all, compared to the others, he acts like an older brother. And not just because of his age, but his atmosphere is really calm. In other words, he was mature. Anything I say, he knows already. In this way, adorable little lady. His words are cheesy, but it wasn't too weird when he started talking. When he reached out to me, he started holding me like a princess. Huh? Oh no! When we started to lose balance, I started grabbing onto Keisuke's shoulder. Keisuke started laughing and brought me to the sea. Oh, it's cold! Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I won't drop you. I'm trying to imitate the image of a fun couple on the beach. Dressed like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, he's extremely overdressed for the beach, but... And in this way, it's unexpected by the fans, right? As Keisuke said, the director said the first shot was good enough for this PV. Are you mad, Kose? No, I'm not mad. What is this, suddenly? Nothing. His face wrinkled between his eyes. I didn't know how to react to this expression. He's just so... It's okay, I still love you. <laughs> what he's my glasses wearing asshole. But he's actually really sweet. He just comes off kind of like he's going to be the jerk, but he's not. I love him. I love Keisuke, too. I like both of them. We know this. Between the two of us, there's one glass for two people to share... Something really typical to see on the beachside. Even if we share the glass with a heart straw, with his expression, it'll turn out a comedy. With a little uncertainty, I grab the straw sitting in the glass. I guess I just have to drink this naturally. Anyway, it must be trouble for you. Huh? We have to drink out of the same glass with a heart straw. How adorable. Like It's one of those little straws that I was like, two side. <laughs> That's so cute, though. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm not just only being assigned as a manager suddenly, because you have the Magatama, but also forced to be in our PV. Is he worrying about me? Yes, because he's actually kind of sweet, despite the fact that he looks like he's going to drown you in the ocean, but... Is that the reason he had wrinkles between his eyebrows? I've noticed after I became their manager, Kose might look blunt from his outside expression, but he's the one who cares the most about the people around him. See, he does. He looks like an asshole, but he's like such a fucking sweetheart. That's why I love him. No, I don't feel that right now. It's an unusual experience, so it's really fun for me. So please also smile naturally, Kosei. As I said so, I tried picking out some sand stuck in his bangs. What? What is it? I didn't mean much, but I had my face closer while taking off the sand. Uh, Kosuke? Kosei started to blush and shifted away. I like how they changed his name to Kosuke now. <laughs> they were like... <laughs> Keisuke, Kose, now they're... It's Kosuke. That's their... Oh, I love it! That's their couple name for me, because they're my boyfriends. <laughs> oh, that's good! Looks great! Feels like a couple! Apparently the director was happy about the shot. The next scene is with Yuki. <laughs> He's gonna jump on us and hug us like he did in Kose's. 
Oh, right. We've only done four out of the five. I was like, what did we do? I'm like, we did two in the mountains. Right. Because Kosei's was on the beach. Kasumi and Yuki's were the mountains. Now we're back to the beach. I wonder what Akita's is going to be. Here. I'll lie down over here. Oh, it's hot. I lay on my stomach, as Yuki said. Although there's a blanket, it's so hot that you can feel the temperature of the sand. Are you all right? I'm sorry you have to do this shooting. Yuki apologized with a frowning face. It's okay. Besides, when would I have an opportunity to use this luxurious cream? The scene with Yuki is him putting sunscreen on my back. Oh, sexy. Oh, that's the sunscreen cream everyone's talking about. Really? I'll ask if you can have it after the shooting. That's okay. I'd feel bad. It's okay. It's a small thank you for helping us with this PV. When he gives us a big smile, it's difficult to talk back to him. Innocence is a weapon. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> you're tickling me. Yuki tickled me as he spread the sunscreen on my bare back, so I started laughing. We were able to get a good shot, so the director said cut soon after. Because they all love me, and they're all able to get good shots with me. It's the last scene. I'm done for today. I was exhausted and sat on the beach. There was someone walking on the sand. Hey, the last sunset scene. You're going to be in it. Huh? I thought it was the back shot of the members. Uh, for the fans to be in this PV, there should be a girl. Oh, I see. It wasn't just him. It was the decision of all five of us. Instead of Akito, it was Kosei who answered. When I looked around, the other members stood there too. So I'm going to be there with all five of them, and it's going to be like a fangirl's dream. Like, oh my god, it's like me with all of them. <gasps> exactly how I play these games. So I get it. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> but I, I don't even know whether I was doing well earlier or not. Really? I thought it went really well. Yeah, we enjoyed working together this time. And I want you for the last scene. But... And don't make us feel hurt. You don't want to be in it with us. No, that's not what I meant. They're accepting me. I should work with them. All right, I'll do it. I followed the five who started walking already and went to the shooting spot. The original layout was to have all five members having fun with their clothes on by the... As opposed to their clothes off. I mean, hello... I guess they mean, like, not in bathed swimsuits. You know what I mean? Um, with their clothes on by the sea, which is reflecting orange light from the sunset. Okay, then. Could you please do the same as the members? I felt uncomfortable as the staff, in as the staff instructed me. Hmm, I don't know much about it, but if I'm in this scene, what should I do to look natural with them? Um, I'm just an amateur, so excuse my suggestion. Rather than joining them at the sea, wouldn't it be more natural to call to them back to go home? During the meeting, I gave a suggestion after considering my role. I see. Uh, so you're the place they're all going to go back to. Uh, actually, that's a good idea. Um, I know it's not an extravagant idea, but... Uh, no, it's good. It's probably what fans want to see. Since Yeah, because like if you... I can see what she's saying. Like, she's standing there and the, maybe in the fort. They're all playing in the background and then she's like calling to them and they all go running to her. And then you could just imagine it's you waving to which whoever one of the members that you're in love with. But they're all coming, but it's your only, you only have eyes for so-and-so. You know what I mean? I can see that. Or I can see it. Since the director was happy with my idea, it was used for the scene. Did we get a CG? No. Okay. Of course not. Wow! That's cold! Akito! What? Yuki, you aimed at my face! Akito, your back is defenseless. You youngsters are really energetic. Uh. Don't look away much. You're gonna get attacked. Since their voices won't be recorded, they had fun splashing water at each other. This is fucking kind of adorable, to be honest with you. After a while, I'm supposed to enter the camera from out, f out of frame and go near them. Oh no, you guys are all soaked! You know that you'll catch a cold if you stay like this. Hey, you there, come! It's fun! Don't get too serious, Kosei! There, the sun's coming down. Let's go home now. I called out to look like everyone's sister. Not sister, they look like everyone's lover. Okay, let's go now, Akito. Everyone's coming out kicking water. They're going towards the cottage, passing me. The shooting was done, but because of some problems with the equipment, we had to retake Keisuke's scene, of course. 
It was already nighttime, but we used lights and faded it in one direction. And faced it in one direction, sorry. Isn't the water at this hour cold for you? Should we stop being in the water? No, it's okay. Because it's like funny that we, they didn't do his scene last. And this is why. Because they're going to have to quote unquote redo it. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm forcing myself. I was able to cope. And you've got some motivation. And you look different from the girl who didn't want to be on camera. Did you start liking shooting? No, I can't get used to it, but I want to be a good one. I want it to be a good one, so I thought having a different uh, direction would help. And you do your best, okay? We were drawn to you because of the Magatama, so you didn't need to work this hard. But all of you and Foxy are admirable, so that's why I want to support you. I see, I see. You're a good girl, really. Then Keisuke went silent and looked at me. He was so gentle that I was starting to misunderstand that he was actually in love with me. Keisuke? I wondered a little and tilted my head. What happened to Keisuke? He's shooting, but he's talking more than before. Then Keisuke took my hand from the water, then gently brought it to his mouth and kissed slowly and gently. Ooh. Good! It's like the loving couple swearing an oath. Good, good. And this is the end of shooting. The staff tries to take... Tries to pack all all the equipment in the noisy environment. As I was getting out from the sea, they talked to us. While we were going towards the shore, I asked him, Keisuke, you surprised me. Um, but you're amazing. We got an okay sign from the director immediately. Hearing my words, Keisuke looked serious and opened his mouth. Hey, so you were really surprised. Huh? Yes, yes I was. I see. It's quite difficult, I guess. As he said that, Keisuke had a bitter smile. Because maybe he was doing it because he actually meant it. Like, he wasn't trying to, like, oh, I'm trying to be sexy in the scene. He just did it. We we're like, wow, that surprised me. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, totally. And he's like, huh, okay. Well, wooing you is difficult because you just fucking don't get it. It's kind of the impression that I get there. He's like, this is difficult. You are difficult. We're like, wow, good, I good idea. That was, woo, impressive. And he's like, I, okay. The shooting's finished completely, and it was dinner with all the staff. I kind of get that, though, because that would literally be me. I mean, first of all, you're shooting, so you're not thinking that he's doing that for real. You think everyone's acting. Okay. But even still, someone hot like fucking Keisuke doing any, like, the way he jokes around with you, you're like, oh, okay, he's just joking. So one day he's joking, but for real? He's like, uh -huh, flirting with you, and you're like, ha ha, you're funny. I get it. I would totally be her and be like, Oh, wait, you were serious? Oh, like, I'm clueless about that. I'd be so fucking clueless. So I... I, I can understand how he finds her so difficult, because that would literally be me. <laughs> you are impossible! I know, you gotta be straight up obvious with me, because I'm not good at hints, signs, nothing. Clueless. Anyway. The shooting is finished completely, and it was dinner with all the staff. With the comfortable atmosphere, I was smiling, and Keisuke sat next to me. Hey, are you enjoying everything? Uh, yeah, it's comfortable and fun. And that's good. Keisuke smirked and whispered in my ear. Hey, who did you like shooting with the most? Huh? What do you mean? It doesn't mean much. It just is a feeling, or even the most enjoyable scene. Um, I was way too nervous that I don't remember... I think everyone was good. What? Everyone. In this situation, even if it's a lie, you should say it's me. Look how precious he is when he's sad. I love him. Huh? <laughs> it's a joke. It's fun to tease you. I can stay with you a little more. What? What does that mean? Before I asked, Keisuke stood and left to go somewhere. What happened to Keisuke? He seems weird. We're like, huh? And he's like, ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we hurt this poor baby's feelings. We didn't know we had feelings. Uh, Keisuke, good morning. When I entered the office, Keisuke was there. He smiled at me when I called his name. He's like, I love it when you call my name. Good morning to you too. You're so full of energy today. I am. By the way, about tonight's recording. Oh, that. It's okay. I already confirmed it. Anyway, I have to go now. Keisuke stood up at once as I sat on the chair in front of him. Oh, in that case, I'll accompany you. Keisuke looked back at me when I stood up. You don't have to accompany me today. 
I'll go with Akito and Yuki instead, and they have an interview today. Kisuke left the office after having said that. He's trying to avoid me now, because we broke his heart. <laughs> While I was standing there, the door quietly closed behind him. Am I... Am I being avoided by Keisuke? He never left the room like this after I entered. But it's been like this since he... Uh, since he got back to Tokyo after the PV shooting. Even if I offer to accompany him, he always refuses. And before, we used to spend the whole day together, and now he barely talks to me. In that moment, the doorknob turned. What? Were you here? My cousin shook his head wonderingly. Keisuke just went to the recording. Are you going with him? Well, I offered to accompany him, but he said today it was okay. Something happened. I don't know if this is supposed to be Takashi or me, because he's like, something happened? Not really. I think this is just because Keisuke is so mature compared to the other members. I don't think he's the kind of guy who's going to change his behavior. That doesn't sound like something he would say right after he said, did something happen? And we say, not really. Uh, change his behavior just because something small happened. I don't know who's talking. No, I don't think anything in particular happened. It's like he asked if something happened, then he said, no, not really. And then now we're like, no, nothing happened. I have no idea what the fuck just... I don't know what the fuck just happened there, but all right, anyway. It was fine until the PV shooting. Did I do something to offend him without noticing? And now that you mention it. My cousin crossed his arms and made a serious face. Then he moaned quietly. Um, I think asking him directly is the best solution. Can't be helped even if you think too much about it. Um, you're right. I understand. Good morning! What? Why are you in the office? Yuki asked me with his innocent face as he walked inside the office. Well, I thought it'd be good to send her to your interview today. She was complaining about accompanying only Keisuke all the time. He said that, then he whispered secretly into my ears. Until he asked Keisuke directly, you don't want the other members to know about this, do you? Yes, I think you're right. Is that so? Good! Let's get going, then. Yuki pulled my hand to pull me onto my feet. Uh, what are you doing, Yuki? Akito just entered. Oh, I thought that... Akito just entered. I thought Kosei's there. I think it's supposed to be Kosei, not... Okay. What? I read it like Kosei. I didn't read the name because I just assumed it was because he's right there. But anyway. I'm assuming they meant Kosei, not Akito. But anyway. Well, she said she's accompanying us to the interview today. Really? That's rare. And didn't you have something scheduled with Keisuke today? Yes, well, I did, but... I can't find anything good to say when I asked help from my cousin. I would have been like, oh, no, I just, you know, trying to make sure I give everyone some of my love. Well, I think it's okay. Actually, it's good you're going to accompany us. Yes, I'll give my full support to the two of you today. I felt relieved after they stopped inquiring after Keisuke. Well, then, let's go. The three of us left the office. Evening came. When we got back to the office, Keisuke was there. Hey, have you been working until now? You must be tired. He wasn't being hard on us. Slowly, he showed a smile. He's brokenhearted. We should just be all buddy-buddy, arm-in-arm with the two of them. They're my best friends now! Make him feel jealous. <laughs> this is why I get nowhere. <laughs> like, Well, I think at this point I'm going home. He started getting ready as soon as I walked into the office. Hey, Keisuke, there's something I'd like to ask you. What is it now? He didn't stop at all, but he replied to me as always. Why are you avoiding me? What can I do for you to forgive me? Um, again, that's the worst, because that is like assuming I did something wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Well, to him, it feels like I did, but I... Hey, I was just having fun with everybody. I was being honest. I'm not going to tell you that I love you, you son of a bitch. Jesus. Is there, a, is there any chance I've done something wrong to you? What? Why are you saying that? You haven't done anything bad. But I feel like I'm being avoided lately. Keisuke squinted his eyes. His stare was gentle. You haven't done anything bad. You don't have to worry about it. In that case, things are going back to the way they were. However, would you mind being the manager of the entire band for a while? And not just my manager like you've been doing until now. Why are you saying this? I was surprised at how weak my voice sank. How my voice sank. Wow. I don't even know how, why I read Anyway. I think it's better that way. 
Uh, for the entire band. And for you. What does that mean? I'm going home now. Have a good evening. Keisuke left the office without answering my question. Why do you hate me? What does it mean for the entire band? My head was full of questions that remain unanswered. <clears throat> I've asked Keisuke directly, but I still don't understand what's on his mind. I sighed when I looked at the Fox Ears members as they were having a lively conversation. He said he's not upset at all, but I didn't really understand what he was saying. I have no clue how to solve this. Keisuke was in my sight, but he was having a nice conversation with the other members, so there was no room for me to break in. I thought once again what I have to do about the whole situation inside. When I tilted my head, Kasumi was there, staring at me with a worried face. Uh, Kasumi! You don't look as energetic as you usually do. Are you feeling well or what? You keep on sighing. No, it's nothing really. Please don't worry about me. Worrying about each other. And the two of you look really nice together. What? Keisuke showed a smile as he moved towards us. We look nice together. Why do you have to joke like that? Yeah, he's like trying to like, huh, you guys gonna get together? And I'm like, I'm not interested in Kazumi. What? Kose, maybe. <laughs> and this is why I'd never date Keisuke. <laughs> You should date Kose. I would. Yeah, he's hot. I'm down with that. <laughs> what? I didn't say we can't. I can't date both of you. I'm just, you know, but you just said it. And you didn't. <laughs> Spacey fucks it all up. <laughs> From your reaction, it seems you don't think that's a bad thing at all. After all, and the youth should stick with the youth. After saying this, Keisuke left the office. After watching the door close, Kasumi turned to me. And don't worry about what Keisuke said. It's definitely one of his jokes. Yes, I think so. What's wrong with me? Keisuke always makes fun of me, but this time... My chest hurt like it was pricked by a thorn. I don't need you to accompany me. You should go with Akito this time. But I haven't done anything for you as a manager lately. Like I thought, Keisuke refused my offer to accompany him right before he headed out to work. Akito's acting like he has some concerns about you, but he's already opened his heart to you. I think you can become closer if you spend more time together. Don't you think so? Well, I am happy that he's opened his heart to me, but... Yes, that's what I meant. And that's why you don't have to accompany me. Why is Keisuke trying to make me become closer to the other members lately? Before, he was always saying he was number one, and now... Anyway, why am I bothering myself with this? Building a trust relationship with all the members is something really important for being a manager. I was trying to convince myself that what Keisuke said wasn't wrong. When I got back from the recording with Akito, I met Keisuke in the hallway. Hi, Keisuke. Keisuke showed a smile, approached us, and started a conversation with Akito. During the time I stared at Keisuke, who never turned his eye to me once. I have to go. I still have some work left. See you then. Bye. Bye. You two, be careful on the way back. Before I could talk, he stopped me. Keisuke finally looked at me, and I felt the weight of his silence. When Keisuke's silhouette was far away, Akito turned to me and said, The fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Anything happened between you and Keisuke? Well, nothing in particular, but... He has noticed it after all. Instead of keeping the secret, it's probably better if I ask everybody about this. Hey! Stop! Jesus! They might have some clue. Can I ask you something? Finally, you're mentioning this. But if I hadn't asked, you had no intention to speak about this, did you? It might be that he was trying to not hurt my feelings until now. Akito, thank you so much. Akito, mumbling, pointed out the fact that he hadn't answered my question. But that didn't bother me at all. I was so relieved that my chest was tight with, em was tight with emotion. Wow. When I got back to the office, the other members were there. It seemed that not only Akito, but also the other members had noticed everything. There was no need for further explanation. If I was doubted that much, it's because I've probably tried to hide the whole thing. I was a little shy at the beginning, but then I seized the chance and started asking a lot of questions. Does anybody have any clue why Keisuke's acting weird lately? Weird, you say? It doesn't seem any different to me. Why don't you try to recall if you did something that could have offended him recently? 
And Keisuke's not the type to get upset for nothing, though. Yeah, I don't think our manager had done anything bad to him. The other three nodded to Kasumi's words. Keisuke's impression, though... Well, if I think about him, he usually comes around and makes jokes all the time. Anyway, let's forget it for now. We can think about it next time. Next time. Without noticing, one thing came to mind, and the four started ta uh, thinking about it again. They were murmuring about their thoughts, so I started thinking about it again, too. However, I can't recall anything. Maybe, more than me having done something bad to him, he's just grown tired of making fun of me? When I thought about that, it actually made sense. My chest started hurting more and more. If he's really tired of me, that might mean he won't talk to me anymore. In the end, no strong opinion about it came out. However, everybody told me that they'd help me to communicate with Keisuke. A few days passed since then. Although everybody was helping me a lot, my communication with Keisuke was really poor. Even the other members agreed on the fact that I couldn't accompany him if he refused my offer. I think I'm wrong to ask for everybody's help. I was walking in the hallways with heavy steps. I was bringing some documents I was given to the office. It's really odd for a manager to cause trouble to their band members. Today I'll just tell them not to worry about me to focus on the new songwriting. Uh, I shouldn't have let myself get distracted while I was walking. I stumbled on nothing. It hurts. I checked my knee. I was lucky there was no bleeding, and it seemed that the pain wasn't that bad after all. Ugh, documents... Documents were scattered all over the hallway. Oh, no, no! I have to put them back in order quickly! I started picking the documents, but it was difficult as they were scattered here and there. Oh, God, what am I doing? What are you doing? What? I was just asked what I was thinking. I replied with a stupid voice. When I looked up, Kosei was staring at me with an amazed face. Kosei, I dropped all the documents. Yes, I can see that. I'm asking how the documents got scattered all over the hallway. Because I dropped them! Yes, I know, but how? Because I let go of them? Yeah, but... <laughs> Kose said that while sighing, and he squatted alongside me and started picking the documents up. It's okay, I got this. You're blocking the hallway, so if we don't clean up the way quickly, it's going to be trouble for everybody. I... I'm sorry. There's no need to be sorry. You were completely lost in your thoughts about Keisuke, weren't you? Ugh, he's right. I'm truly sorry. I'm just causing a lot of trouble for everyone. No one thinks of it that way. Kose is very sweet. He really fucking is for someone who looks like he's the angry douchebag. Like, doesn't, like, he always had the angry look, and you're like, he's the angry asshole, and then he's got glasses, and you're like, he's the angry a He's not. He's not the glasses asshole. He's actually, he looks like the glasses asshole, but he's the glasses sweetheart. It's fucking, I love it. Thank you so, what? When I turned to Kosei in order to thank him, I slipped on a document. Oh, my. I hold onto Kosei's arm as he extended it out to grab me. Just then, Keisuke walked around the corner. <laughs> you knew this was going to happen. When she fell and the documents fell, you're like, okay, so maybe Keisuke will come and help. And then Kosei showed up and you're like, all right, this is going to lead to a misunderstanding. There's going to be something about us picking up the documents and we're going to be giggling together or something. And Keisuke is going to come around the corner and get jealous. Or, no, we slipped and fell into his arms. And the <sighs> Here comes Keisuke. You just, you knew. You could see where this was going. Before I realized it, my lips were on Kosei's cheek. Oh! <gasps> what? What am I doing? It was an a Oh, this is, this is even funnier. You're like, oh, I fell into his arms. No, I fell into his, and I accidentally fell into a kiss. Okay. Yeah, because that's ever fucking happened in the history of existence. But okay. My head went completely blank, and for a moment I was unable to move my body. I'm so sorry. When I realized the situation, I jumped back from him at once. What? What am I really doing? I can't see Kosei's face. D don't worry at all. It was just an accident. If he says so, he's so precious. I love him so much. I tried to remove my gaze from his sight. What? Keisuke was standing there. Of course he is. And he just saw you kiss him. <laughs> By accident, but... He made a surprised face at first, then he smiled at me when our, when our eyes met. And don't worry about me, guys. Oh, please take your time. Keisuke kept on walking down the hallway without looking back. He's crying on the inside. That's so sad. What? Keisuke! No, Keisuke, it's not like that. 
I was so sad that Keisuke misunderstood the situation. However, more than that, I was sad about the fact that he walked away from me with a smile on his face. In the end, I'm just a nobody to Keisuke. No, he's avoiding you because he's in love with you. That's beautiful. I love it. He knew there was going to be some kind of drama, and here it is. Uh, when I was walking down the corridor, there was Kosei walking towards me. Um, Kosei, good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. He's like, st is he still blushing? He's like, ugh. There was a silence between Kosei and I. Uh, awkward. Kosei doesn't speak much, so I haven't talked to him lately. But after that incident picking up the papers, it was impossible to make a conversation. Uh, all right, excuse me. There was a heavy mood that I couldn't bear, so I walked away with my back to him. This is when you're like, just quit your job, girl. Just, just go somewhere else and do something else. I need to quit my job. I'm so embarrassed. I'm in love with mem one member who doesn't care for me, and I accidentally kissed the other on the cheek, and now it's embarrassing, and I can't handle this. I need to leave. <laughs> just going to run. I'm going to move to Utah and change my fucking name. The other members have noticed this awkward atmosphere between Kosei and I, and they asked me about it. But I can't say that we kissed. You could just say we accidentally fell into his arms and kissed him. It was an accident. Yeah. Even if it was just a kiss on the cheek, because it's for me, the shock will be bigger. On the other hand, Keisuke doesn't seem to care about the kiss either. Oh no, he goes home and cries every night. It's fine. If I think about that, my heart hurts. Why am I shocked by this? I'm supposed to be the manager of Keisuke, so he shouldn't care about that. I sighed and went towards the studio. Foxier's members have been stuck in the studio because of some recording for the new album. But Keisuke is not here. I am sorry. We wanted to go through this with everyone. Is Keisuke coming today? I think he was. I'll check again. I checked with a schedule book in my hand. Today is... Yep, there's other work too, but... Yes, in the afternoon he'll be at the studio. I see. Thank you very much. Kasumi bowed a little and went back to the members. The other members are staying inside the studio during the composition. But Keisuke is only playing his part for the recording for singing, so other than that, he was using his time to do other work with the staff. He's caring so that the other members can work easier. I want to help him, to be honest. He didn't care about the kiss, but he was avoiding me. Excuse me, uh, can you guys listen to these? I was brought back to reality by a call from the staff. Oh, I shouldn't think about other stuff too much. Otherwise, I'm going to make a mistake. Yeah, like accidentally kissing another member and, and Keisuke's gonna be like, seriously? Everybody? The fuck? It was the end of work today. No one was around, so it was silent. Everyone went home today, so I'll go home now and rest a bit. In that moment, the door of the office opened. Ah, you're still here. Good. It was my cousin who entered. By the sound of it, he wants me, he wants to ask me something. Oh, what happened? This paper needs to be delivered to Keisuke, but I have another meeting to get to. If I deliver this after the meeting, it'll be too late, so uh, can you go for me? I blinked a couple of times, uh, with the news. Huh? What's up? Are you and Case Case still awkward? You don't want to deliver that this to his place? Uh, no, it's not. It's actually the opposite. I answered in a bright voice. I would have been like, no, it's fine. I'll. It's my job to do it, whether he likes it or not. Basically. Thank you. Huh. Are you that happy? It's better than you being angry, I guess. My cousin was curiously tilting his head as he handed me the paper. He's like, it's fucking bizarre. It's weird that we don't have like a fax machine or we can't text or email, but okay, sure. Yep, I'm happy. I'm going to go now. As soon as I got the paper, I headed toward Keisuke's apartment. Look, it's a job. Whether he likes it or not, somebody has to give him the fucking documents and there you go. In front of Keisuke's place, I was breathing roughly and rang the doorbell. Oh, I rang the doorbell and no one answered. That's weird. When I was coming, I saw the lights in his room, so I thought he was there. I rang another time, but the door wasn't opening. Maybe he left the lights on. When I thought of giving up and leaving, I twisted the doorknob. It's open. Oh, God. Girl! Well, to be fair, I did ring the door. I'm coming in! I hope you're dressed and not with a girl, because that would be awkward. It wasn't locked. I opened the door a little bit and closed it immediately. It's going to be a problem to go inside the apartment when he's not home. Uh, but maybe there might be a case that he was passed out because of overworking. When I thought about that, I couldn't leave. It's okay. It's not like I'm going to do something bad. I just, you call out to him and be like, Hey, I got, I got a paper for you. I'm just going to put it on the hall table. Okay. As I convinced myself, I twisted again. 
We're going to walk in on something inappropriate. And it's going to devastate us. Oh, I'm assuming that's him talking. I know about that, but when I entered the apartment, I heard someone's voice. He's inside, but then why didn't he come out? I tried walking gently down the corridor. Hmm? Oh, what happened? I'll just peek, and if I can't go in, I'll leave. As I think that, I went in front of the living room door. I opened the door a little to peek inside. I feel like a bad person. Inside, there were ten or more people. Uh, on the head of his guests were fox ears, like the one that Keisuke showed me. Fox? And you... Foxes are seriously talking, but since they're... They talk small. I can't hear very well. Eha, yeah. is there going to be any problems? I noticed Keisuke was talking to the other foxes, as smiling as usual. What are they talking about? The foxes are acting slightly cold towards Keisuke. But the way they talk is polite, and it seems like they respect him too. What's it about? I close the door and think about it. In that moment, the door opened. When I turned around, there was Keisuke standing above me. Oh no. Keisuke, um, I'm sorry, I entered by myself. Ah, uh, it's you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry I had to ignore you. I was occupied. I'm leaving now. I just came to pass on this paper. I wanted to talk to him, but if he's occupied, I shouldn't stay here long. Uh, sure. It'll be best to go home before dark. Okay. When I was trying to go home, it was getting noisier behind Keisuke. There were foxes coming out one by one from the living room. They hide their ears and pretend to be human. One of the foxes pointed at me. Keisuke, that woman. That Magatama on her neck. Damn, how can you... Then in a moment, tension filled the room. They looked at me with a hateful look and I began to sweat. Okay, but the thing is, is you're like... They should have just like... They're making a scene. Which you'd think they wouldn't want. You guys, you should go back peacefully today. As I explained... Even if you touch the Magatama, you'll be blown away. And if I didn't know who they were, right, I'd be like, the fuck is this weird shit going on? I'm pretending I don't know. Even if all of you attack her, you can't take away the Magatama. Huh, fine. Then we'll let her go. There was a huff as one of them passed me and the other foxes followed towards the entrance. To deceive and seal is degrading how humans think. When they passed me, all the foxes opened their mouths. All the words they say are filled with hatred towards me. She brings it with her. She's humiliating us. We can understand the kind of person she is. I didn't know what to say, so I just stood there. You bitch. You should just die and give the Magatama to us. Hey, you guys. There was a low voice that echoed in the corridor. The foxes stopped and looked at Keisuke. Wh what is it? It's not what is it. She isn't the one who sealed it. He was completely different from how he was earlier and looked very serious. He continued with anger. She only has the Magatama and that's it. If you keep on doing this, you're just taking it out on her. But, but, she's a descendant of the Ying Yang Master who sealed... The fox was pressured so much from Keisuke that his cheeks were twitching as he explained. She's got nothing to do with that. This girl is just this girl. If you insult her one more time in front of me, I won't forgive you. Keisuke, is he protecting me? The first fox that was leaving groaned low. They didn't say anything anymore and left. The other foxes followed and left in silence. For a moment, there was a silence in the corridor. I opened my mouth to break it. Keisuke, thank you for protecting me. I didn't protect you, so you don't need to thank me. He wasn't angry, but he spoke in a very cold tone. But and don't make me repeat myself. As he was saying his words in a harsh tone, Keisuke, he doesn't seem to be angry, but I should probably go home. I bothered him. I didn't want him to avoid me anymore. I should say something to end this, so I opened my mouth. But I was really happy. Thank you very much. When I said that, Keisuke stopped moving. Then he scratched his head and sighed deeply. <sighs> really? You win. Keisuke was smiling powerlessly. It was the usual Keisuke before he avoided me. You came to give me a paper, right? 
Do you want to have some tea? Oh, is that all right? I was surprised that I said it out loud. <laughs> He's like, <sighs> you win. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be mean to you just to chase you away, but I can't. I love you. <laughs> He's like, I didn't, I wasn't protecting you, but it still made me happy. Oh, I love you so goddamn much. <laughs> when Keisuke saw that, he had a bitter smile. You don't have to be that surprised. It's not my first time to offer you tea, right? Yeah, I know, but I thought you were avoiding me, so I thought I made you angry. I told him the honest feelings that I'd had recently. Keisuke still smiles bitterly. And that's not the problem. It wasn't you who did anything. It was my problem. Huh? It's not good to stand and talk. I come to the living room. Keisuke was beckoning me, and I said, Um, okay. Keisuke made a small ceramics noise as he put a teacup in front of me. Thank you. And that's what I wanted to say. Huh? I thought I should let you choose another. And you came back to me again. You chose me, right? Hmm? What do you mean I chose you? But I want to support you like I, like I used to until now. I see. Okay, that's good. As he was smiling and he sat next to me. Huh? He's close. Um, Keisuke. Hmm? What? What is it? He was smiling at me, a bit eerily even, and he asked me, Um, aren't you too close? You don't have to worry. Even if I don't need to worry. Even if you say that! <laughs> Swear to God. I stopped holding back, so it's okay. Oh dear, CG. <gasps> oh! We're just sitting there and he's like, head on your shoulder! He's so precious. Keisuke put his head on my shoulder. Keisuke's hair touched my cheek. I bet it's so silky soft. Um, Keisuke... Huh. He was avoiding me, so why now does it become like this suddenly? Stay away from me! Push him away. Um, n none of those are good except for stay still. And that's the right answer, but like... Sometimes you might have other reactions, but like, stay away from me. Push him away. Why the fuck would I do any of those when I love him? Stroke his hair would have been the right answer, you know, to me anyway. If I push him away, it'll be awkward. He was the one leaning on my... I think it's Keisuke who's being odd. When I was frozen and I tried not to move, Keisuke started laughing and his shoulders shook. It's very rare. Knowing you, you would probably have complained by now. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say something, but even if I say what I thought, you wouldn't move. And then, I can just stay like this. When I heard his happy voice, I couldn't say anything anymore. I didn't mean it like I hated him. What am I thinking? My pounding heart. Does Keisuke notice it? I was trying not to show my nervousness, so I was cautiously replying... Then we spent our time just chit-chatting for a while. His glorious hair. God. After Keisuke and I went back to usual, I was asked to manage his work again. We finished one of the recordings right now, and we're going back to the dressing room where the other members are waiting. Hey, why were you kissing Kose in the corridor anyway? Um, it's because... Oh, I completely forgot that he still misunderstood me on that. I dropped some papers in the corridor, and Kose, was just help uh, and Kose, who was just passing by, helped pick them up, and I slipped when stepping on one of the papers. I hesitated using the word kiss. Right. I thought it was something like that. <laughs> you hoped it was, you bitch. Oh, you knew that it was an accident? I didn't know, but you're not the type of girl to kiss in the corridor where other people are passing by. Then why did you say, live happily with him? I thought it was an accident, but it was right at the time when I was passing. I thought maybe you were sneaky and you were trying to hurt me, so you kissed him. I wouldn't do that. Well, I know. I bet you can kiss me by accident. You can start by scattering some papers first. I won't do that. <laughs> Good. Oh, no, it's Takashi laughing. <laughs> Good, you guys made up good to hear. From the other side of the corridor, my cousin walked toward us. 
Takashi, we weren't fighting. I'm not a kid. Really? But you were really, really happy when I handed you the paper to deliver at Keisuke's place. You were so happy that I was amazed. Hey, hey! Why are you saying that now? What? Why do you need to stop? And then, let's continue later. No, you're not saying anything! Then are you going to explain it all to me? I was blushing and I glare at Keisuke. <laughs> I don't want you to hate me this time, so I'll stop teasing you. You did tease me enough. Oh, really? I want to tease a cute girl especially. Oh, I really want to tease a cute girl especially. <sighs> Why does Keisuke talk so carefree? He actually works so hard, but he gets mistaken from his first impression. You guys are good together, uh, but we're at the dressing room now. Just concentrate on your work. As my cousin said that, he opened the dressing room door. That's right. They were supporting me about the Keisuke incident. Still awkward with Kosei, but I have to work hard. My like, Kosei knows it was an accident. It was an accident, I know, but it's still awkward. Okay, I'm counting on you. I'm going to go check about the next recording. Okay, thank you. I remembered about the recording for the music program. I remembered about Pyro's. After that, it was a very weird atmosphere. But it's okay. Pyro's wasn't on the list. I checked the schedule that I received. Oh, no. Why is Pyro's name listed as one of the co-stars? In that moment, the door of the dressing room opened violently. Right when she's it's okay, Pyros isn't here. I was like, Pyros is motherfucking here. <laughs> like, I knew it. Hey, you foxes. That sounds like, hey, you foxes. Sounds actually like a nice greeting. It was the same blonde guy entering. Then following was the snake face guy. I feel bad for Nakone because he's never fucking here. He just, he gets, he was in Kosei's route. Like you had him and then he just showed up one other time. But he like, it's always these two. It's never Nakone, that poor motherfucker. He's like, look, bitches, I'm just here for the band thing. He's the Akito of the group. I'm just here for the band thing. And like, I just don't really care what you guys do otherwise. Yeah, sure. I hate the boxes too. Oh, I really don't. I don't care. He's like, I'm just going to paint my nails. You go out. Why are they here? Are they trying to say something again to Keisuke? As I imagined, the blonde guy walked right up to Keisuke. Then he grabbed Keisuke's collar and started laughing. You, you really were a traitor. What is this about? Keisuke replied in a calm attitude. Ha, you pretend now. We found out. You were a white fox working for a human. Is that true? Yeah, it is. We heard it from a fox who was hiding. They've already made up their minds on going against you. Too bad. You were hiding this until now. Oh, too bad you were hiding this until now. Right. I see. And that's bad. Keisuke didn't sound upset. But, uh, but his side face was very lonely. Is that... Are you admitting that? Admitting or not, it's the truth. But you can't be surprised about only this. It's even more surprising about the one he was working for. He was working for the child of that yin yang master you still hate. That's not. That's not true. Why don't you ask him if it's true or not? Jai Jai and Shishia still have the same fucking. I don't know, anyway. The snake faced guy pressured them to ask Keisuke. You can lie right now, but the ones who know about it stopped hiding, so they'll all know soon. You can't do much about it anymore. Huh? Is it true? Hmm. If it's gonna be spread around anyway. I guess I don't need to lie right now. Yes, I was. So precisely, it was the child of the Ying Yang Master and the Fox I... So precisely, it was the child of the Ying Yang Master and the Fox I want to break the seal. Is, is he as the child of the Ying Yang Master and the Fox? Is that what he's trying to say? Because he's saying it was the child of the Yin Yang Master and the Fox. I want to break the seal. So I'm not trying. I wonder if he's trying to say. Okay. I wonder if he's trying to say he as the child. Or he was working for the child of the Yin Yang Master and the Fox. And he wants to break the seal. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he's trying to say there. Because it's not quite. Doesn't quite make sense. But anyway. I didn't want to fight. So I was keeping quite quiet to myself. But I never regretted working for him. You're a traitor who works for humans. I was working for a human, but I never betrayed the foxes. We can't trust someone who's been a white fox. 
You can't tell that he's a white fox. The blonde one started yelling and pushed Keisuke. But the punishment should be on the foxes. That'd be more interesting. If you want our help, we'll help you. As they said that, they left the dressing room. It was silent in the dressing room. The atmosphere was so tense. So maybe he was helping the child of the Ying Yang Master. But the thing is, the Ying Yang Master's our ancestor. They're... But it was the child of the Ying Yang Master and the fox. I wanted to break the seal. Okay, maybe that's exactly what he was trying to say. There was just should have been punctuation in there. Um, but that means that the fox and the Yang Yang Master had a baby. And then our ancestor was the Yang Yang Master and quite possibly the fox. So I'm just saying, you can't shun me. I'm not fully human. <laughs> if that's the case. But you had to stop and think. The Yang Yang Master, our ancestor, was in love with the fox, right? sealed him away. I guess she would have had to like move on and love someone else because how else would our ancestors or the rest of our family ever existed? You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, it was like my great, 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 great grandmother's sister. My super great, 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 great aunt. You know? Mm, I, um, anyway. I mean, I guess it could have been, but you kind of assumed that it was your direct family lineage. You know what I mean? Like, at some point... My nieces and nephews will have kids and kids and kids. And eventually, like, I will be an ancestor, but not direct line like my sister would be. You know what I mean? So, well, anyway. Uh, it was silent in the dressing room. The atmosphere was so tense. What should I do? If we stay like this, it'll be worse. I thought I should say something. Then I opened my mouth. Um, so everyone, there's sort of like an enemy, right? If you fight according to the stuff they say... Isn't that what they want to happen? Shut up. You don't know anything about it. Don't get involved in our problems. Keisuke was the white fox. Rather than them, Keisuke would be our enemy. I mean, he's white and a fox. I'm just saying. It's fucking obvious. That's... Keisuke isn't the enemy. See, they did fix that because that was Keisuke isn't the anime enemy. And in the guide it says Keisuke isn't enemy. So obviously... <laughs> fixed it after Keisuke isn't your enemy he might have been once but he's with you right now even though he's working with us right now if he's worked for the humans we can't trust him I'm also wondering why the other foxes wanted to hide and accept him I guess it's because of the loss of fox power they wanted to include someone strong I didn't know they were going to say this much even if I say anything everyone's feelings don't won't change I'll ask you once. Keisuke, is it true that you were the white fox? Everyone was concentrating on Keisuke. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry I hid it from you. I see. I understand. You say so. It's decided. Keisuke, you're leaving Fox here. And don't get close to her ever again. Akito was pointing at me. Um, fuck you. You don't have a say in this. Huh? Why? A fox here was formed to break the seal of the foxes. We'll have trouble if anyone gets in the way. That's... Keisuke's not going to do that. Also, this is mine? Fuck all y'all. Any one of you touches me. Pow, bitch. Just back the fuck off. Well, yeah. It's logical to think that. I don't want to bother you. But even if I explain, you won't believe me. Keisuke sadly and quietly said that. He didn't want to explain on his own. Sit with him and hold his hand. He knows that even if he explains, no one would understand him. I will. Keisuke walked towards the door. When he was passing next to me, he murmured, And thank you for protecting me. I was happy. Um, Keisuke. When I called his name, the door was already shut. Being a white fox was a long time ago. Why do you need to make him an enemy? You're a human, so you don't understand us. Yeah, you're right. You're assholes. I'll bring Keisuke back. When I reached the doorknob, there was someone in front of me. I can't let you go. If anything happened to the Magatama, we'll be in trouble. And this is where you... F I'm sorry, Kose. I love you, but don't you fucking get in front... Don't you get in my fucking way! But... And please don't meet Keisuke anymore. If he doesn't do anything to your Magatama, we'll keep his identity a secret. That's... If anything happens to the Magatama, they'll kill Keisuke. Why? 
They've been working together. How can they say these things? I don't understand. They were close. What happened to Fox here? Are we getting chapter 11? Nope. All right. Anyway, this is the perfect place to end it because we're out of time. So uh, I was like, if we get to chapter 11, that'd be great. But we're not. So it's fine, though. Um, we got mostly through chapter 10. We got more chapters in this time than we normally do. So at any rate, we will continue um, in the middle of chapter 10 in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.